Bonjour everyone and welcome back to my channel The Waves of Your Soul where we get to explore our experiences, emotions, patterns and intuition that come in ebb and flow in the oceans of our lives. My name is Maureen, I'm a French tarot reader and the intention for my channel is to help you help yourselves by giving you the insight, guidance and empowerment you need to go live your best life all thanks to tarot and oracle readings. Today's video is part of my astro readings for February 2021 as you would have seen from the title and this particularly vi particular video sorry, is for all my Libras out there. So if your sun, moon or rising sign is in Libra then this is going to be the message for you. If you want to check out your other signs then don't hesitate to check the playlist. I will have posted all 12 signs for the month and we're going to be looking at the main theme, what does the month hold for you, potential obstacles or challenges, potential opportunities and blessings, and finally a general word of advice from the universe, your guides, your higher self, whatever you choose to believe in. Now we are, before I get started, I just want to say that with all of my readings they are for the collective, so just use your inner knowing, your intuition to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. And finally, I want to mention that if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, can I invite you to do so? I post plenty of videos on tarot readings, um, pick a card readings, I do astrological readings um, based on your signs, I do plenty of tarot and oracle related content and it really helps my channel to grow if you subscribe as well as if this message resonates then please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment again it really helps me out you're getting a free reading in exchange you can um, you know exchange the energy by giving you my video a thumbs up and leaving me a comment and um, I really appreciate it it really helps my channel to grow and I want to say a huge thank you for anyone who's doing that I it, you know I'm very very grateful for all of you who have already um, liked and my videos or commented thank you so much as it's um, really um, it helps my channel to grow so thank you okay so without further ado let's get started for my Libras and having a look at what February 2021 has in store for you so let's um, see what the main theme of the month is for my Libras out there, wherever you may be in the world. Where is, uh, what is the main theme of the month of February for my Libras? We have the Hermit. Yep, <laughs> that's not surprising. And the Page of Cups. I'm laughing because, you know, considering what's going on in the world, just generally speaking the hermit just keeps coming up in most of my readings um, so that's why I was um, laughing about it but anyway I'm gonna show you the cards a little bit closer because I'm using today uh, the Uncommon Tarot it's a beautiful collage diverse um, deck and it's super very beautiful artwork and hopefully you'll enjoy it so you'll see it a bit better if I do this but yeah okay hermit and page of cups so um, main energy of the month for you is um, around with the Hermit card, so Major Arcana card of the Tarot, we are really gonna be pulled in a time of your life where you're gonna be um, invited or pushed <laughs> depending how what's going on in your life you know sometimes we get invited into those energies sometimes we get pushed and we don't have a choice sometimes we choose to do so to, to to channel this energy whatever it may be for you there's this energy entering your life of the hermit now the hermit represents um, a time of our life when we are invited to do a lot of introspection to stop and pause and to really connect with ourselves to put ourselves in some kind of bubble in some kind of um, pause and kind of meditative uh, time and where really we decide to connect with our own inner light and to stop listening to what everyone else is saying but to really start to listen to what our own knowing our own heart our own soul is saying the hermit is inviting you this month to connect with your own teacher you have all the answers to your questions yes you have all the answers to your questions nobody else has in terms of um, life questions life past questions soul questions you know of course if it's <laughs> I don't know if it's like understanding a uh, very complicated astrophysics then Google will have the answers but if it's about 
what uh, should resonate with you what is your life path what is good for you what is bad for you what is nurturing your soul and what isn't who is nurturing your soul and who isn't you are the person who, ha who has all these answers and the hermit is inviting you to spend that time alone introspective um, meditative to really find the answers to all the questions you might have and to reconnect with your own inner compass some of you have, might have been feeling a little bit lost my Libras some of you might have been feeling a little bit like you are um, in a storm or in the fog and you can't quite see um, the uh, lighthouse at the end of the harbor and you're feeling like you know just completely disorientated and what you need to realize and what February will make you realize and that the lighthouse is within you if only you take the time to connect with it so it's super important this February that you take time to do some meditation or to um, do some journaling or to go for walks uh, whatever it works for you where you know but or even do some exercise whatever helps you to connect with yourself for some people it's even doing some coloring or what for some people it's even having a nap like <laughs> whatever works for you to connect with yourself and tune out all the noise and kind of white noise that's outside um, and really connect with that hermit energy this is what you're invited to do this month of February my Libras not paying so much attention at what's going on outside you but really trying to connect with your inner world okay it's very much encouraged you do that because there's some answers to your questions that you need to find especially because we have the page of cups here and the page of cups so cups energy represents our emotions intuitions our relationships and um our everything to do with our intuition and our so our heart and also you know very much our third eye everything to do with the subconscious all of that very watery energy and the page of cups represents the energy of um, someone being very um, dream dreamy who is dreaming a um, new world who is very imaginative who is uh, doing a lot of you know uh, pushing their minds to new places doing a lot of uh, visualization and someone also who is very um, how can I say that I'd say very optimistic but also in the sense that they are using their imagination to dream of better worlds to dream of better things and to help them to have a more kind of positive view on life so what you're invited to do for the month of february my libras is to spend that time with yourself connect with your own inner light and with your own inner compass Sorry, my battery died, so I don't know where it cut off, but I think I was saying that by spending time on your own and uh, connecting with your, you know, really embracing that hermit energy and connecting with your own inner lighthouse to find the answers you need, it will help you to see life in a more positive way, in a more optimistic way with this page of cups here, and it will allow you to really connect to that more imaginative side of you that can also help you to... Um, you know, unblock things by giving, seeing things in a new perspective, a new, more heart-based and intuitive um, view of life, which is very useful, going to be very useful for you for the month of February, my Libras. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at what are the potential obstacles and challenges coming for you in the month of February. Let's have a look at the potential obstacles and challenges. Okay, we have the moon and the ten of swords. Okay, so potential obstacles and challenges really um, with the moon here we have the idea of um, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty potentially for some of you in the month of February. You are not, um, you know, sitting in that hermit space means that you are facing all of yourself the light and the shadow and it is very empowering and it is necessary if we want to be the best versions of ourselves it is necessary to embrace all sides of us but of course by doing that sometimes it can uh, make us face with some parts of us that can um, be attached to old memories that still trigger us old traumas that haven't quite 
healed all wounds that are still affecting us and the moon card here is really talking about this it's talking about facing inner um, demons inner shadows and having the courage to embrace them as part of you are not rejecting them but actually realizing they make you who you are a unique human being um, and by l learning to uh, embrace and getting to know all parts of you you are healing all parts of you and that in turn is allowing you to be a better ancestors for all um, you know generation past and generations to come so potential challenges will be around getting to learn some of your more shadow parts of yourself for the month of February which again shouldn't be something that you um, feel scared of it's something we all have to go through if you're willing to live a more empowered life so I just want to put that out there also with the ten of swords here we have the ideas of for the month of February like I was saying there might be um, because there might be some things triggering you or re-triggering you or some old traumas coming back into the, your mind not necessarily your life but just your mind relieving some old traumas your mind remembering some memories that were really um, painful or maybe your mind kind of you know we have usually what happens when you do, we do kind of like personal work is that we um, look at some wounds and suddenly we open that gate and new mem like old memories that we thought had forgotten have the tendency to rise up to the surface so that we may tend to them look at them um, embrace them and heal them and then that way they can finally go away for good but um, that that ten of swords here really relates to the fact that there might be some of those old memories coming back for you old wounds and they are only there for you to actually heal them to deal with them to embrace them so that you don't put them in a box which is quite li the libra way sometimes to want to put things very you know you're a very air sign so you have the tendency to think clearly with your mind you don't have the tendency to want to embrace all the not all of you of course but you know this is just talking generally about some of the libra energy maybe it's too much in the mental sometimes and not really in the heart space because the heavy emotions some they have the tendency to maybe sometimes you don't really want to deal with them you'd rather analyze things in order to you know understand them but actually in february your mind with the sword here it's we're talking about the mind and the air sign and and everything to do with communication and our mental um, capacity and our logic and all of that and this month for you for february your mind is not going to be your best friend your ability to analyze those old wounds if there's anything triggering you if there's any old wound resurfacing in the month of february analyzing and logical um you know kind of libra way of putting things into a very balancing thinking things in a balanced way looking at the details trying to analyze with your logic with your mind etc that's con not going to be what's going to help you actually what you're required to do is really sit with them sit with those uncomfortable energies if they do come up of course this is general reading it might not apply for all of you but if there's uncomfortable energies or uh, memories or whatever it may be coming up for you you need to sit with them and you need to welcome them from a heart-based place with the moon here we're talking about the the moon relates to the cancer sign which is a very emotional heart-based sign so it's about really opening your heart and being okay with being vulnerable embracing that vulnerability so that you may heal whatever is coming up not from a mental perspective but from a heart and soul perspective and really using that um more hermit energy to to embrace embrace all of this from a heart perspective and not a mental one okay so here your rec the potential obstacle is actually your ego doing too much work against you and for you to um, pull back from that and to be allowed to you know avoid any kind of um, overly mental exhaustion the hermit energy of sitting with yourself and of welcoming all parts of yourself is going to really help you to deal with that okay so now let's look at potential opportunities and blessings for my libras for the month of february
We have the Ace of Wands, beautiful, and we have the Nine of Coins. Okay, gorgeous. So, Ace of Wands and Nine of Coins. Potential opportunities and blessings lie around your ability to um, start new projects, to start new, um, whether it's in your jobs, your hobbies, the in your home, whatever it is that, you know, with the Nine of Coins here, we're talking about material, the material world or so your body whatever it may be there's an opportunity for you to there's a new energy coming in here with the ace of wands a new passion a renewed energy where you can actually uh, achieve a lot of um, great things ach and achieve a lot of what might have been on your to-do list and what might have been on your dream list and put things in motions that will allow you to that will bring you a lot of um, abundance and a lot of material reward, rewards sorry so maybe you'll be offered new work opportunities new job opportunities a new daily task if it could even be that you are starting something like a new personal project that you finally have the energy to start there's a impulse i'm hearing impulse of creativity impulse of passion imp uh, impulse of new fiery energy, a renewal, you have finally the spontaneity, creativity and inspiration, inspiration I keep hearing as well, to achieve things that are going to be able to bring some kind of abundance, some kind of reward for the long run. So it's a very uh, positive kind of like new energy coming in, new creativity, new inspiration. Make sure you're writing every ideas you have because they could be great ones. Um, and this is kind of like the energy for you. For potential opportunities for you, my Libra is like those light bulb moments might be coming up for you, and new ideas, fresh ideas, fresh energy. You might be feeling a lot more energetic to work out or to um, put a lot of effort into your personal project, into your side hustle, into your home renovations, whatever it might be, or your moving house, whatever is coming up. It's like fresh new energy pushing you towards some kind of like to set you in a comfortable place where you are feeling secured, abundant and uh, yeah, just that very much living your best life type of vibe, which is very much nine of pentacles energy. Okay, so finally, let's have a look at a general word of advice from the universe, from your guides, from your higher self, whatever you choose. Um, to just see how to best approach oh we have two jumpers <laughs> and they've placed themselves so i don't even have to put them where they need to be perfect two of coins and strength beautiful we have another major arcana card so word of advice beautiful strength card here the strength card really talks uh, is like now suddenly bringing a, again this new beautiful energy in your life and to remembering that whatever may be coming up for you whatever may be triggering whatever may be resurfacing in your life in terms of old traumas or old wounds that are coming up for you to heal them you have the strength the inner strength and i'm not talking about popeye's muscles here i'm talking about inner strength to heal them and that will in turn make your life and your mental dialogues with yourself, your um, pers your love for yourself, your um, life paths, all of that, it will make that a lot more empowered. The strength card is reminding you that if there's anything coming up for you to deal with in the months of February, it is because you will have the strength to actually deal with them. Otherwise, they wouldn't actually um, come up. So remember the, your inner strength, remember that raw power that you have in all of in you that makes you unique, that makes you uh, a beautiful human being, that makes you empowered, that makes you worthy of living beautiful things. And remember to also, with the two of coins here, remember to um, take time out, remember to step out. You don't have to do it all in one day. You don't have to be so hard on yourself. You don't have to be do, do, do all the time. With the two of coins here, what I'm hearing is you need to balance um, trying to achieve things and maybe even trying to do that personal emotional healing, um, but also managing 
some making sure that you are keeping some time for uh, self-care keeping some time for having fun keeping some time for stepping out for breathing a bit of fresh air for going a bit outside and you know even if it might be limited wherever you live make sure that you are balancing all the um all of the work whether it's uh actual work whether it's emotional work personal work spiritual work you know that very much hermit energy balance that out by still making sure you take time for self-care make doing the activities that bring you joy and getting a bit of of balance here with these two of coins because it's important to um to still take time for for that and to nurture yourself okay okay let's pull one last card for the we have one card for advice and then we'll pull an affirmation for you to take on for the month so for my libras <laughs> we have the dragon gaia's gateway access earth inner wisdom so to me this is very much linked to what i was saying of making sure you are um connecting and embracing this hermit energy you know access earth in wisdom is also reverberating saying that you need to access your own inner wisdom embracing this hermit energy and remembering that you have the all the answers within you that you're looking for if you take the time to listen for them that you are your own compass in life that you are your own lighthouse and that you're in a time of your life where your inner light can help you guide you through whatever fog or tempest or storm you might be finding yourself into okay to finish this reading we will pull a little affirmation this is a new deck i got it's called absolute affirmations there are super uh, cool affirmation and hopefully you can take one we have one for the months ahead you can keep that in mind it says i practice forgiveness forgiveness is freeing by forgiving yourself and others you allow yourself to move forward with confidence and peace open up to all the love and joy you deserve by letting go of what no longer serves you very much resonates to what i was saying about this ten of swords this moon card this hermit card and also the idea that by forgiving yourself by freeing yourself of everything that's weighing you down there's this new remember new energy coming up with this ace of wands and this strength card here letting you know you have all the passion creativity and inner fire and strength within you to deal with it and only beautiful new energy will come um, so you've got this my libras and i believe in you so if you enjoyed this reading and it resonated then don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up um, and until my next video i am sending you lots and lots of good vibes and keep navigating the waves of your soul bye